In this week's Java with Jamie, we're diving right into the pool. By day, Carrie Nakayama does analytics and data science, but in her spare time, she's a certified dive instructor at Eco Dive Shop in Culver City. We met up with her at Hotel Figueroa in downtown LA. Okay, is that my iced coffee? Thank you. Nice try. Thank awesome. you. This is the best poolside service. Cheers. You didn't order coffee. I didn't. You ordered? A chai latte. And why did you do that? I am allergic to coffee beans. What Carrie Nakayama isn't allergic to is a little adventure. Every weekend I'm out uh, at Catalina or on a boat. How did you become a scuba dive instructor? Uh, it was actually something that at my office that I work at, somebody had a heart attack and I wanted to get rescue certified. And once I got rescue certified, I was within ECO and I followed through the program going all the way through and they are full uh, dive shop. So I was able to get the instructor. Nakayama has been diving for the past 12 years. And while she's traveled the world, Australia, New Zealand, I've been all over the world. I was a travel diver at first, so it's such a fun experience to be able to travel and dive at the same time. Did you have a favorite? Definitely Australia. The night diving there is amazing. One of her favorite spots is in our own backyard, Catalina Island. Oh, there's so many fish out there. There's giant black sea bass that you'll see. They're the size of a car. And then you see a ton of the state fish of California, the Garibaldi, as well as kelp fish and sea lions, which are super playful. They'll play with you while you're in the water. They're just like dogs. And now she's helping others discover scuba at the Hotel Figueroa Pool, which was built in the 1920s before depth restrictions. Are people fearful sometimes when they get into the water? You'd be surprised, yes. That's like actually the biggest thing is people are afraid to breathe underwater because the number one rule of scuba diving is that you don't hold your breath. And so that's the first thing that from a really young age, people immediately, as soon as they jump in the water, they hold their breath and they hold their nose. What types of students do you get? Because I feel like I've always wanted to do it and I've wanted to do it for like 25 years, but I still haven't done it yet. Do you get a lot of people like me? For sure. We get a lot of people. It's like a bucket list item that they're like, I'm just going to do it. Some people all ages, everywhere from the age of like 10 all the way up through 80 that we'll see come in to dive. It's amazing. Everybody can do it. And with that, I decided it was time to finally dive in. First, there's instruction on land. And as you go deeper, the pressure is going to start to build up. So you're going to have to release some of that pressure in your ears by equalizing. As you go down, you can use it by using the Vaslavian method by holding your nose and blowing out slightly so that you feel that pressure release. If you ever feel pain, just go back up and it shouldn't, you should never feel pain whatsoever. All right, so I'm going to try this on. Here's your gear. This is your regulator that you breathe from. Okay. You'd like to try. How do I breathe out? Breathe out? Just breathe out. <laughs> Literally just breathe out. Yep, exactly like that. Then we hopped in the water. I'm diving. <laughs> Where we see how the equipment gets used. Perfect. How does that feel? Good. <laughs> and then we dive for real channeling our inner mermaid and otter. Woo -hoo! Diving. Inner otter. Inner otter. <laughs> what has diving taught you about yourself? Uh, patience. <laughs> In what way? Um, everybody does everything at their own time, but the thing is, anybody can do it. You just have to take the time and listen to what they want to do and you can move through it. So it's really exciting to see the joy on somebody's face the second they get the skill and they're like, I've got it. What have the people you've taught learned about themselves through diving? Uh, perseverance. Keep going and you can do it. I'm so proud of myself. What do you think? Was it fun? It was really it's fun. It's cool to be able to breathe underwater, it, right? Yes. And it, it was much easier than I thought it was going to be. I think in your head, you build up like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it, or the equipment's going to be really heavy. And then you get it, and it's like, oh, OK. And I know what to do. I think it's the closest thing to being in what I would imagine space being like when you're underwater, because yeah. it's a whole world well, down you, there. Well, you've dived. I've, yes. Yeah. Yes.
And you're just enjoying, you know, I, like I can't wait to get out into the ocean now. The pool is one thing, right? You learn how to do it and then getting out and being able to see all of the little sea yeah, creatures. Yeah, you see coral and sharks yeah. and all kinds of fish and it's just amazing. It's a totally different world. So if you want to learn how to do it, classes are held on Tuesday nights at the Hotel Figueroa. They go from now through the end of the month. So you gotta, there's a few more chances for you to get out there if you want to try it out. world out there. Yes.